Welcome, welcome, friends, to our Everything Thieves class tonight. My name is Lucinda White, and I'll be doing the presentation tonight. Um, we're going to have a little fun with this class. We've done Thieves classes in the past, but um, you'll get the feel of this when we share the screen and get going. So let me share our screen, and we will bring up our presentation. And got to love technology when it works, right? Alrighty. All right. So, like I said, this is our Everything Thieves class. Whoa, I guess I'll show you how to get up there. Everything to make your home safe. Hi, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was muted. <laughs> That's all right. Tikva can join in too. So, um, we're gonna have a little fun with this class tonight. As you can see here by this lady, I thought this presentation was awesome when I saw it. So I said, I have to have it. And now we have it in our arsenal of tools to help people out. So um, it's kind of a retro vibe to it, but same great information. So it's Guide to Toxic Free Living. And I believe I introduced myself, but my name's Lucinda White and I've been with Young Living. It'll be two years this June. And I absolutely love, love, love the Thieves products. I don't clean with anything else in my house and I'm slowly getting up the nerve to ask my cleaning company that comes in. They have to start using these two because they are wonderful products. So um, before we get started, we always have a standard disclaimer. So for your home to be truly clean, you must use effective products. However, those products do not need to be toxic to achieve your desired results. In this class, you will um, discover alternative ways to use Young Living essential oils to clean and purify your home without leaving any toxic residues. Um, this class is for educational purposes only and is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prescribe. And the um, information is from an independent person. Oh, excuse me, I just lost my train of thought. And it only applies to Young Living products. So in using these products, your individual results will vary. So what are essential oils? They are the powerful plant extracts that contain volatile aromatic liquids and can consist of the leaves, flowers, roots, bark, resin, and rind containing the plants, pure essence of health promoting benefits that can be inhaled, diffused, applied topically, incorporated into a massage, or even taken as a dietary supplement. So we're gonna watch just a little um, quick video on why Young Living and their seat to seal guarantee. So please let me know if when you're you not seeing this guys, or it's not coming in. Please tell them suggestions can help pitch it. And of course we have to deal with commercials. Is there a sound, Lucinda? Because I can't hear it. Can you hear it? No.
All right, so we are going to um, get back to our slideshow. So Molly, I know you said you couldn't hear me, but um, if you could just come live and let me know, are you able to hear me now? I can't hear you now. I wasn't hearing whatever you were playing though. Okay, yeah, it wasn't saying it and I didn't realize that when I put that in there, it was just to um, watch the screens and see the information so we can always get that to you. So um, the figures on this screen are quite amazing to me when I saw this, Seven over 70,000 chemicals commercially produced in the United States, 80 of them chemicals applied by women who don't live in a toxic free household even before breakfast, and then only 10 of those chemicals are regulated by the FDA. So I think these numbers are out, they're outrageous on some of them, and well, actually all of them, and things need to change. So hopefully we can get them on the Thieves product line. So um, we're, there are so many toxic chemicals. Um, Young Living, we usually do um, feature Gary Young's top 12. We call it the Dirty Dozen, but for this class, we are going to just... Um, focus on the top six toxic chemicals in your home. I know you ladies that are on here tonight live with us are toxic free home. So but, um, if anybody is watching on the Zoom in the class, go ahead and get a product that you have in your house. If you're not a toxic free household, and I would almost guarantee that one of these chemicals are listed in there. So it's triclosan, parabens. I always goof this one up. Fal Phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate, propylene glycol, and fragrances. So triclosan, it's found in antibacterial soaps, cleaners, cleaning wipes, office supplies, dental products, deodorants, and chemicals. This was banned from soap by the FDA in 2016, but still remains in many, many consumer products. As in, as you can see down below, the side effects of this, it can cause hormone imbalance, cancer, liver problems, and mood and behavior issues. Um, most of these chemicals, you are gonna see cancer and liver problems as side effects on all of them. Parabens, used as preservatives and a germicide. This is found in shampoos, lotions, skincare, creams, and deodorants. This is used as a preservative and germicide. This has been banned in Sweden and Japan. So I don't know why it's not banned in the US, but um, as you can see, the side effects are almost the same. Hormone imbalance, infertility, growth and development, liver problems. And once again, there's that C word. So just looking at all these, when I put this presentation together, I am so glad that I'm almost now 100% toxic free home. It's taken a little while, but it's so well worth it. Next one is phthalates, used to keep things pliable and soft. This is found in air fresheners, perfumes, building materials, kids' toys, containers, and personal care products. This is banned in Europe. So when these come up and they're banned in other countries, why doesn't the US follow suit with those? Once again, um, same side effects as the previous one. So it's really sickening when these um, chemicals are banned in other countries, but the US doesn't ban them. Sodium lauryl sulfate. This is found in shampoos. It's what gives them their um, sudsing effects, soaps, conditioners, cleansers, medications, and toothpaste. It is also used to degrease engines and floors. This is what, like we said, created a lather in your bath and body products. This is banned in Europe and Canada. Hormone imbalance again, infertility, mood and behavior issues, organ toxicity linked to cancer. But a lot of people will say they only use a little bit, but over time, a little bit ends up being bioaccumulation. So a little bit over a long period, you're still getting the toxic effects of it. Propylene glycol. This is found in cleaners, shampoo, lotions, deodorants, vitamins, and supplements, food and drinks, and toothpaste. It is used as a main ingredient in antifreeze. This is also banned in Europe and Canada. This, your side effects are DNA malfunction and birth defects, neurological disorders, organ toxicity, and respiratory distress. 
And the last one is fragrances. This is so, so, such a huge category. And I was talking to somebody at my work today and I asked them if they wanted to just smell a drop of my um, oil that I had with me, which was peace and calming, which I like to use when we get, excuse me, back into the classroom after being out in the community with the students. And they told me they were allergic to fragrances. So I'm going to have to dig into that a little bit deeper. But this is found in candles, perfumes, air fresheners, cosmetics, cleaning products, kids' toys, packaging, and much more. Companies do not have to disclose fragrances on their ingredient label. They don't also have to um, disclose flavorings. They could just say natural flavorings, and they don't have to give you the ingredients on those either. Right, I, I get you on that one, Rachel. I totally like your, your comment on that. So once again, hormone imbalance, mental fatigue and mood and behavior issues, organ toxicity, respiratory distress. And I know sometimes people say mental fatigue and their mood and they like to burn candles. A lot of time those candles are toxic. I've gone, I don't burn candles. I do have them only if my power goes out, but I do not um, burn them for fragrance. I use diffusers, which will have, I believe we have some recipes in here for um, diffusing. So we'll continue on. So now this is where we're going to ask you to put on your thinking caps, ladies. Pop quiz, how long does it take? And no fair Google in this. So we'll do like a 10 second countdown. How long does it take for chemicals that are applied to the skin to enter the bloodstream? So if you want to come live and just tell me, and this is for a chance to win a five mil bottle of Thieves um, Vitality Oil. So if you want to come live and tell me your guess, or you can put it in the chat. How many? I'm going to guess 20 seconds, but I think it varies on whose skin it is. Okay. Okay. And um, any other guesses? Okay. And who that Rachel, was that you or Molly? Was that you? I didn't hear who that was. That was me. I'm just thinking because I know with kids' skin, theirs absorbs quicker. Right. There's more sensitive. Right. So okay. I think it varies by age. Okay. So the answer that this lady said, it takes less than 30 seconds. So 26 seconds to enter the bloodstream. And over the course of a long period of time, there's a lot of stuff that can get in your system. I have a um, bad skin condition. And I used to use um, an ointment that had coal tar in it. And once I found out, it's like that stuff was stinky and it stained. And then when I saw it on the dirty dozen, I said it was gone really, really quick. So Rachel, if you would like that free bottle of thieves, go ahead and um, put your contact information for me in the chat and we'll get that to you. So all things thieves, which is here we go. So thieves essential oil is a powerful, powerful combination of clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, radiata, and rosemary essential oils with incredible cleaning power. This was inspired by a recipe of potent botanicals dating way back to the 15th century. Um, this blend is the perfect option to make your home feel and as clean as it smells. This one's a little bit strong for me to diffuse. So when I do diffuse this, I use less drops than what it calls for, but it smells wonderful. Almost like a Christmassy scent with all the cloves and cinnamon in it. So our first product is Thieves Household Cleaner. I wish I could be this happy looking when I'm cleaning, but I could strike the pose with the Thieves Cleaner on my hand for you. So Thieves Household Cleaner, this is an all-purpose cleaner. It can be used on any surface in your home for dusting, spot cleaning, scrubbing, or any other cleaning need when needed. And this is safe to use around your pets, use around every room in your house. As you can see here, one bottle can make 30 spray bottles of cleaner. And this is at the um, minimal diffuse um, dilution ratio. So a lot of um, Young Living products, their Thieves products, they are so concentrated. So you learn cleaning hacks and how to dilute them and stretch your money and get a little bit more. So Thieves dish soap, natural derived from the same um, derived ingredients, Thieves dish soap effectively cleans your dishes without chemicals. I go through this like um, 
water. I usually take the bottle and I'll dilute it. So two to one. So I get two bottles out of one. So this I order probably every two to three months. I have a um, dishwasher, but I don't like to use it a whole lot. So this is um, without chemicals, dyes, or synthetics. Young Living's Pure Essential Oils are in it. Thieves, Jade Lemon, and Bergamot. And this smells so good. And you can um, work with other plant-based ingredients to leave your dishes sparkling clean. Thieves Laundry Soap. Once again, I love these ladies in this. They're like so happy cleaning. So if you ladies are ever really happy cleaning and you get a picture of yourself like this, share it with us and we can add it maybe to the next Thieves class. So this is a plant-based formula. Thieves Laundry Soap gently and naturally washes your clothes, cleaning them without any chemical or synthetic residue. Natural enzymes and powerful essential oils add to the formula's strength to leave your clothes fresh and clean without a light citrus scent. This is another product that people do a lot of um, laundry hacks with. They'll take this one bottle and they will make three containers. We've seen a hack where um, people take this, they dump it into a big glass container, then they add nine cups of hot water, they add a full bottle of essential oil and some capfuls of the Thieves Household Cleaner and they get like 64 loads of laundry out of it, so much more. So the next one is Thieves Kitchen and Bath Scrub. This is one of their newer products. This is wonderful. All we, um, the only thing that I've seen with this, I mean, it cleans without the chemical smells, without the, the harsh smell of the bleach, is that it might leave just a little bit of residue. So if you are using this on surfaces while you will have food, just make sure you wipe it down um, good with a clean cloth after and then get all that residue off. But if some does get still get on you, you can be sure that it is non-toxic and it's not gonna affect you. So Thieves Dishwasher Powder. This is one product that I have not used, but if it's as wonderful as the dish soap, you're in good hands with this. But it says you can get 32 loads of dishes out of this. So um, natural aromatic dishwasher powder detergent, chemical free again. Um, no rinse aid needed, green clean your dishes, glasses, pots, and pans. This is free from that SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate, petrochemicals, dyes, formaldehyde. I can't believe people still use formaldehyde. When I hear the word formaldehyde, I think of rats when they use that to poison them. And I'm like, no, nah, we really don't want that around us. And there's no perfumes in it, which can irritate your skin. This late, when I first saw this slide, I thought she was making the devil horns, but these are certainly not devil horn products up there. It's the Thieves Bar Soap and the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. Oh, excuse me, ladies. This is my Friday, so I am so looking forward to my long weekend. So Thieves Cleaning Soap, once enriched with the powerful Thieves Essential Oil Blend, moisturizing plant oils that help clean, um, foaming hand soap will cleanse and defend and can condition the skin without therapeutic, excuse me, with the therapeutic grade Thieves um, oil, also lemon and orange. The Thieves hand soap or any of Young Living's hand soaps, they are so concentrated. When I get one of these, I dilute it by half. So I get two hand soaps for one container. And with me in my household, I'm the only adult in my house. Well, my daughter is an adult, but she's a special needs young lady. So we don't get her up to the sink. We'll wash her down with um, like the wipes and a little bit of this, but I have this in my laundry room. I have it in my kitchen. I have it in both of my bathrooms. So Thieves Hand Soap, wonderful, wonderful products. So now we're gonna have some fun with some toxic free DIY recipes. So these recipes, feel free to take a screenshot if you want these. Um, Oh my goodness, ladies. I think I need some thieves tea when I'm done with this. Um, they don't say on here, but if you are using essential oils in any of your cleaning products, you wanna have them in a glass container or a metal container because your um, the oils will, um, the plastic degrades the um, strength of the oils. And they do recommend glass over metal because the oil tends to cling to the metal containers versus the glass. So I have glass. I have not knock on wood broken one of my containers yet. So that's good. So um, cleaner spray, water, borax, white vinegar, the cleaner, and then lemon oil, 
but people also make this just taking the, the household cleaner and then the water without the borax and vinegar. So um, experiment and see what your preference is to using them. Furniture polish. Somebody's gonna have a chance to win one of these furniture polishes with another question at the end of the class. So um, this one has the Thieves Household Cleaner again, distilled water, vinegar, oil, and lemon oil. We are gonna be having a class probably in April with spring cleaning. So that would be a great one also to come to because we are gonna be doing more um, recipes with the household cleaner and things that you don't wanna to forget to clean in the springtime. No streaks glass cleaner. This is what I have in my cleaner. I have not bought Windex in over a year and a half and it's wonderful. You can also change these up. If you don't like the citrus fresh, put an oil in that you're comfortable with. Toilet bowl cleaner. Rachel, I don't know if you look like this when you're cleaning your toilet bowl, but maybe we need to use this cleaner and this is how we will look when we clean the toilet. Her little cutesy like, oh, I'm cleaning the toilet. I don't think anybody looks like that when they have to do that job. But um, this one looks like it would last um, a little bit because you don't use it all at once. It just has a quarter cup of the mixture, bacon soda, cleaner, vinegar, and then your essential oil. So the Thieves is so versatile. I have not tried this one either, the reusable dryer sheets. I use the, um, the wool dryer balls that Young Living has and I just put some oil on those. I have not put purification on them or I usually put like lavender on it because I just love the smell of lavender. So um, this one says you would just cut up towels or shirts or sponges, cap full of Thieves cleaner, a half a cup of white vinegar, and then some purification. You soak that in your um, shirts and then you would just toss it in the dryer with them. And it says you can use those over and over and over again. So if anybody has used these or wants to screenshot this and try it and let us know how long they last before you have to um, re-soak them with the materials. Iron-on spray starch. I don't know anybody who still irons or use as spray starch. I Every once in a while I'll iron, but all I can think of with uh, when I saw this with the spray starch is people ironing their shirts and having to get their collars really, really stiff so they look sharp in their suits. But um, once again, you can use these uh, essential oils to make your shirts look nice. So here are some more Thieves cleaning favorites because there are some other Thieves products that can help you out. They have sanitizing wipes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. These are great for on the go. I have these in my daughter's backpack. You have a waterless hand sanitizer. I carry this on my backpack for school. I have it on my purse. I don't like the smell of those other more um, hand sanitizers that smell really medicinal. This little thieves spray, great to take to the supermarket with you whenever you're going out shopping anywhere. If you want to spray down the handle, spray down your own car handles, you know, door handles when you get back in. You can never be too careful with um, somebody who brushes up against you. So be prepared, like the Boy Scouts would always say. Thieves also has products for your teeth and gums, um, dental floss, toothpaste. This is what I use on my um, my teeth. I also use this on my daughter's. It's something that she tolerates more than the sugary other um, toothpaste she used to use. And then the Thieves, um, thieves Spray. <laughs> Actually, I believe this is like the mouth, this is mouthwash, but they said um, they call it a Thieves Spray on here for some reason. But um, I do have the, the mouthwash. It's very potent. So I only use like a half a cap full of it when I use the mouthwash after brushing teeth. I can't stress enough how much I love the Thieves products and to have a whole class about it, it's wonderful. And yes, there's, as here it says here, there's Thieves for that too, meaning there's a bunch of other things that can you go Thieves for. Thieves mints, these are actually really good. Thieves fruit and veggie wash. I got this last month and I forgot to take it off my loyalty order. And I got another container. So I can't wait for all that fresh produce to come in. I'm going grocery shopping this weekend and I'm going to purposely get some lettuce and I want to soak it in this and see what it looks like. So maybe I'll post a before and after picture 
of the water. I think that would be a great testimonial so people can actually see how this works. I love the lozenges. I have not tried the cough drops. So, um, so many different things that you can use. And when you use any of the, these products, you know they're safe for you. And that's so important. There's also other essential oils that you can use for cleaning. Let me just check this. Oh, thanks for that comment, Rachel. So if um, everybody else did not see that comment, Rachel said you can also use that for taking spots out of your carpet. So I'd have to try that if I had carpet, but I love my hardwood floors, so I don't even have to worry about that. So maybe I can use the thieves on the hardwood floors, like taking nail polish. I can see that on there. So um, tea tree is great for, um, for cleaning. It says you can use it in your beauty products and for health. I use tea tree in my shampoo. I get the shampoo, I dilute it two to one, and then I put 15 drops in that because I have some of my skin condition on my scalp. Helps with that, softens it up, takes it right away. Purification, I love to use this in the diffuser in the room in my house that I call my cat's room. It's actually the spare bedroom, but that's where the litter box is and the, her food's in there because it's just easier on me. So I put this in the diffuser when I come home with tangerine. Can't even tell the cat's in there. Lemon, oh my gosh, how versatile is lemon for a cleaning oil? Takes sticky residue off the floor, um, off stickers. I was cutting duct tape with my kitchen scissors a while ago for some project that I had to get done. And then I went to cut something else and I'm like, these are really sticky. So I put lemon oil on it, like two or three drops on each side, took a paper towel, wiped it down and it came off like in one... Um, one easy swoop. I have another testimonial for lemon from my daughter who is a nurse. She was um, helping her friend. She was over at her friend's house. Her friend had had surgery and she had little ones and they were putting these temporary tattoos all over my daughter's arms, which she thought was cool. And then she's like, oh my gosh, I got to go to work the next day. She tried soap. She tried scrubbing. She tried doing something else. Nothing was working. And she told me, she goes, mom, and then the lemon oil was there. And I'm like, my daughter got it. She put the lemon oil on it, on those temporary tattoos, took it right off. So um, great testimonial for lemon oil. If you ever get those temporary tattoos and they don't come off, put some lemon oil on it. And then you'll also smell good afterwards. So if you'd like to start your journey to three months of toxic free living, here's just a little um, samples of what you can get the first month is you have the cleaner, you have the hand soap, you have a toothpaste, and you have a sanitizer, and it's under $60. Then you could go to month two, and this would be ditching and switching methods. So month two has the um, laundry soap, dish soap, spray cleaner. Month three has lozenges, fruit and veggie wash, and then a portable hand sanitizer again. So um, all of these products, it can be costly to start with, but if you slowly switch out, and that's what I did to go to a toxic free home, I switched out. My cleaning products were the first thing. And then one day I'm looking at all my supplements on the top of the counter collecting dust. I brought over my trash can, one fell swoop right into it. No more um, yucky supplements that were collecting dust. My thieves or my young living supplements, they do not sit there long enough to, um, oh, excuse me, Rachel. I don't know why don't they don't have the thieves chest rub in there, but, um, that's a good one. And I also use it on my daughter too. Um, she knows when it's coming out, it's a little strong for her, but that's a great product to use too. So maybe when they made this, maybe the, um, Maybe it wasn't out in their product line yet. I'm not sure because this is a class that I did purchase, but great information on it. So all these other things, this is one of the newest um, bundles that Young Living has come out with. It's called the Thieves Loyalty Home Bundle. And as you can see, the price of this, all these items on here, if you were to buy them separately, close to $270, but in the bundle, it's $160 value. Great, great products for a wonderful price. These are um, the other starter bundles that Young Living has. Something for everybody. I am getting so excited. I have got enough points saved up and we'll go over that in a little bit 
to get one of the CBD starter kits. And the one that I wanted, it's out of stock right now. So I'm going to have to contain myself from buying other stuff and save my points for that. But the, um, these bundles, they're priced 40 to 50% below what it would be if you bought these items separately. So if you're ready to start, head over to youngliving.com, fill your cart. There's three ways to shop. Good, better, best. Good is buy any products, check out, enjoy your products. Better is to buy 100 PV. That's not the price, that's the point value because all the items in Young Living's line do have a point value. When you do that, you get a 24% discount for one year. But the best way to shop is if um, you enroll in loyalty rewards with any product of your choice or more, you'll still receive that percentage off for 24% off for one year. Check out, add the referral ID of who invited you to this class or to Young Living and get started while you're there. You can also check out the benefits of becoming a brand partner. Young Living does reward you for shopping their products every month. They give you freebies. This month, the retail value of these products is $150. And the thing, as you can see on this um, screen, is when you go up in the PV level, you also get the lower level products. So 100 PV, you get 10 extra loyalty points. That's like money in your virtual wallet for Young Living. And that's if you put it on your loyalty rewards. The 190 is you get Luscious Lemon Hand Lotion, which I got my order. So here's mine right here. And then um, you would get a Bloom 5 mil bottle if this is on loyalty rewards. 250, you get Illuminize. I've been taking this since my order came in at the beginning of the month. And my eyes at night, they just don't feel as tired or stressed out anymore. So I think we're going to have to add this to our order every month. And then the 300 PV level is Coconut Lime Body Butter. This smells so good, but I don't think I'd want to eat it. So just tell people don't lick it off your skin when you're out around them. But, um, it's just a little fun thing there. These are the benefits of being a brand partner. You can earn commissions, um, possible tax benefits, earn travel retreats. You can share your resources. You have a very, very supportive community who wants you to succeed. This is all digital now for less than $15. It is a great way to um, share the love of the products that you have. This is a screen just showing the benefits of loyalty orders versus cart orders. Loyalty orders, you do get um, a percentage back in points. You get free gifts, three, six, nine, 12 months. My daughter just got hers and she got a free um, five mil bottle of peppermint. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. And your percentage back goes up based on how long you've been with Young Living. I have been with them almost two years. So I'm at that 25%. After June, I will be getting 25% back on my um, point value. The other thing with this is you can explore the products, you can manage your products, you earn items, and you can save points for later. We've talked a lot tonight about um, point value, and you might be wondering, well, how can I spend that money that's in my virtual Young Living wallet? You look for this little blue flag on the website, and it'll show you that those products are redeemable with, um, with your points. Young Living does still do a free diffuser for your second loyalty reward order with 50 PV or more. And I just remembered, I did not add a screen into this until February 28th to the end of the month. If you do enroll with Young Living with a 100 PV order or more, you will be getting a free winter nights hand soap, another foaming hand soap. Great smell. Um, wonderful product. I gave it a lot out as Christmas gifts and people are like, this smells so good. So we have some follow-up to do and see if they'd like to earn some more. Young Living has a fantastic shipping, $7.99, three to nine business days. This is for up to 150 pound package. These are our upcoming classes for March. We're going to have hot mess hormones next. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. Essential oils in the kitchen with a St. Patrick's Day flair, super mom, and then gardening with oils. <coughs> Excuse me. So we will not have a class next week because we are switching over to classes in March, starting in March on Mondays, which this is. So just an announcement, a reminder, um, same Zoom link, but our classes will be moving to Monday nights at 730. So we hope you'll still be able to join us. 
We do have an upcoming event in um, April Fool's. We're not going to kid you, but it is April Fool's Day, but it's going to be an exceptional April Fool's Day. It's going to be a make and take. Details are forthcoming, but right now one of the details is there's going to be an egg hunt and whatever egg you find, there's going to be a name of an oil in there. And then that's going to be, those are going to be the items that you get to make that day. There will be a golden egg. And if you find that golden egg, you are going to get to make all of the items that we're going to have that day, which are probably going to be like eight or nine items. So great to come to. If you're local, we'd love to have you. So now here's the other quiz. So it's time to put your thinking cap on, ladies, if you're still with me. So in the beginning of the presentation, the, there was a question that said, um, how many chemicals do women put on their bodies before breakfast if they are not in a toxic-free household? So if anybody remembers that number, come live, and the first one will win that eight-ounce container of furniture polish. Rachel, what's your guess? Oh, man, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> well, you talk, talked about six products, so I'm going to guess six. They put on more than 80 chemicals. It was on one of the very first screens that we had where it said 70,000. They put 80 chemicals on their body. Wow. Yeah, that just that just blows me away. You know, probably between deodorant and shampoo and conditioner and toothpaste. So, um. It's, it's amazing that the amount of chemicals that we still put up with. And I know and it's, a, so then it's no wonder our health is the way it is, huh? Abs absolutely. You know, since I've been doing this health journey and join young living, I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to feel better. I'm just ashamed that I didn't realize this until I'm 63 years old, but, um, People look at me and they're like, you're not 63. And I said, I am, I hide my age well. So I guess that's going to be the benefit of Young Living products. So I'm going to start using them on my, I do use oils on my daughter. She's a little bit um, gassy tonight. So we put some tummy jize on her, wasn't doing the trick. So we went to the dye jize and now she's a happy camper. So they do work. So um, this is my funny slide for tonight. I cannot quit for I am too legit to quit with the thieves cleaner. So um. Thank you for coming tonight for your time. Are there any questions? This is the way I feel like this lady's doing with our arm pose here. So um, I'm going to stop sharing. We will say thank you for coming. KK, thank you for joining us. Molly, thank you. And hopefully we will see you on the first Monday in March for our next class. Have a good night, guys. Bye.